Missy Maharg, the head coach of the Maryland Terrapins. And Missy, another notch in the history book. How's it sound to be named the 2015 Big Ten Field Hockey Tournament champion? I think I think it's twofold. I mean, one would be just natural love, passion, energy to compete, um, just in it and present. Now, that's a character piece. I mean, it's that that love of competition, that grit, that fur, the uh, that energy. Um, I mean, you, I mean, you have to look at hockey. It's such a technical game, so. I mean, technical skills in terms of passing, receiving, and ball control. That's an aspect that goes without saying. That obviously, if you're looking at the top tier of recruits, or you know the top two percent in a given class, then then we're looking first and foremost at that love for hockey, the passion, the competition, and um, just, just staying present. Well, I'd, I'd have to say uh, USA Field Hockey's pipeline, their identification program. I think they do a a good job regionally of identifying the talent as under 12, under 14, under 16. That's kind of the first way that in those events that you go to, uh, you're going to see an already selected group, so that certainly makes it pragmatically easier. But then I say, um, what club do you play in? Uh, there are certain clubs that um, really do a wonderful job of, again, teaching the fundamental skills, the technical skills of the game way above other clubs. Down tournaments or clinics that you run in the spring, get to those and feel the feel the team, feel the culture. Yeah. So honestly, from a tactical standpoint, a player that is, is involved in a lot of give and goes, I, I just they, I, they attract my attention immediately. From a character standpoint, you know the kid that is eager to be on the field and the kid that is eager to be on the bench for their team, and that's a rare kid today. But then it goes off. He's engaged in the coaching accepts whatever role they're asked to play, is very on the bench and on the team, and is it looking at parents in the stands, is it looking for all this, you know, recruiting stuff you really see, especially in indoor. That's the segment we're in right now in recruiting. And you just watch the kids and their parents and the, and the coaches and the, and the recruiters, and, you know, they're not present. And then you've got the kid that just loves the game. So I go back to that, love the game in the moment. So you've got the technical piece, which is, Know you're out, and then of course, um, you know that emotional piece, which is being present and, and trusting the leadership that's right there with your team. A lot of maintenance, and you know when families want to know where's my kid going to play, what system are you going to play, you know these type of questions, um, they're, they're concerning. And you know I'd like to you know work with the, the parent and the family. We're totally a family place, and I think that's what makes it work because the families understand coming in that let me do my job and you have fun and, and uh, let your kid be your kid with me. Right. Definitely. And I, I just last week got uh, kind of kid off who was in the top tier. You know, US under 17 national team, I'm just not interested in there's certain parts that you see that you're not gonna be able to change. Dedicate yourself and you go find yourself.